Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video. Now today there is the official version released. Uh, this is the link where you can get it, microsoftedgeinsider.com, download. And there is three versions, well for now there's only two versions, the developer channel and canary channel. Which canary channel is updated daily and developer channel is updated weekly. I downloaded the canary channel uh, to receive daily updates. Of course, the Canary channel will not be as stable as the developer channel. And then there will be beta channel, which will be updated every six weeks. It says coming soon for Windows 10, so it's not uh, out yet. So for now, you can have only two options. Only two options. Well, that's more than enough. I downloaded the Canary channel, like I've said, and it works pretty damn well. Um, what I noticed here at the bottom is other platforms. So this browser is going to be available to Windows 8 or 8.1, Windows 7 and even Mac OS. They, sh they could as well have here like Android, but the browser for Android is already available. So no need to put their Android. But let's uh, close this and here I'm going to open it. Microsoft Edge Canary it opens really fast. But now my favorites, they are synchronized. If you go into settings. Uh, even my account is uh, synchronized. Previously, when my account was logged in, the synchronization wasn't available. Now the synchronization is available, uh, which I can eh, I can't even turn this option on. But uh, what you will be able to sync is favorite extensions, is history, of course, settings, open tabs as well. Damn addresses and passwords extensions wasn't available if you want to hide the favorite bars then you come here at the top previously was somewhere in the settings let's go here previously was here in the settings uh, and here show the favorite bar but now it's a bit different you come at the top as well and then you choose your favorites and then show favorites never only on new tabs so if i choose never then it hides it. Uh, if you go into About Microsoft Edge, this version is 75.0.121. At least the synchronization works, uh, the favorite works, the history works, so the browser is more than fine to use it daily. And this is the Canary channel, which uh, it's supposed to be buggier than the normal one. But for me, so far, I actually didn't find any bug. Maybe, of course, if I'm gonna play with it more, I'm gonna fi find some bugs uh, with synchronization of course, but so far it works pretty damn well. Of course, yeah, with the synchronization, uh, these options I can't do it on. Oh, now favorite works to turn it on or off. So I guess extensions, uh, it will come in the next future or it's not available yet because I didn't install any extension. But uh, what about the settings? What about the open tabs, passwords? This should be also like be able to turn on or off. Uh, so I guess this will come in the next uh, updates. You can install it already on your Windows, Don't, no need to install on a, vi uh, on a virtual machine. And actually, let me show you here, I don't have the latest version or I don't have the um, uh, latest version of Windows. I don't have the preview insider. Here I have normal update version 1809, which was updated on 25 February. So, um, and it works fine. So you don't really need the latest insider uh, preview of windows to be able to test this new microsoft edge but if you put it here side by side let's yeah the, the top here the top is not transparent like uh, the old one but of course it will come in the next feature let's uh, actually press f5 see here there at the top the reloading and if we press here the reloading uh, it's kind of the same let's press again it's kind of the same it's just a little smaller and different color wow this should be as fast as possible ah come on youtube.com doing the job let's open the task manager to see uh, actually i have here an ad and on the normal i don't have an ad because i have ad blocker so uh, let's see new edge 265 old edge 600 megabytes what but I guess the difference is because I have here on the old Microsoft Edge, I have uh, some, some extensions installed and the ad blocker is kind of blocking ads from YouTube. So that takes also some memory RAM, but damn, that's more than doubled. It's actually tripled, not double, but tripled. Nonetheless, this is it, guys. Let me know if you guys uh, tried it and if you liked it so far. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Till the next one.